Hey there, this is BT Stu again. I just wanted to go a little bit more in depth on the landing pages or the opt-in pages because um, I had somebody ask about how to integrate your autoresponder or your emailers into the actual opt-in page. And it's actually pretty simple. Uh, if you go here and you just click on the opt-in form, um, which you can, you know, if you don't have an opt-in form on your page right now, you can go over here. Uh, click on you know uh, build opt-in form and you can just put it anywhere you want uh, over there which I don't want to do that right now which it did it anyway but so you can see it there so there's an opt-in form it just added it up there for me because it's not styled or anything and I can choose all the different ones that I would like to use uh, and, and make it you know any way that I want to make it so um, then you just go to, uh, you click in between here because you want to get the whole opt-in form. Get rid of this. The whole opt-in form. And you want to get where the little email envelope is. And just click on the envelope. Hit edit integration. And then see now you have all the different ways that you can integrate uh, your opt-in forms. I already have get response added in here. Um, and uh, by default email is chosen the default email all that will be is that it will send from your uh, admin mailer from WordPress so uh, if you don't have anything integrated in or you don't have any mailer set up it will actually just mail from your WordPress email uh, optimized mentor is my uh, course builder it also uh, integrates with Zapier which does all the web hooks for you if you're not familiar with web hooks um, and then it also has the custom HTML form. So uh, if there isn't any, if there's a mailer that, you know, it does not integrate with, you can actually just create the HTML uh, form and then uh, just place it in there, the HTML in there, and then it will do all the connection for you. But uh, and if you don't see the integration here, you would click on add new integration. Uh, and here, as you can see, I already got get response added. But if I didn't, I would click add new. And as you can see, it has several different types of uh, autoresponders that you can integrate in here. Active Campaign, AWeb, or Constant Contact, uh, yeah, HubSpot, Keep, uh, Entreport, SendLane, uh, Zoom, SendInBlue, Sendy. Uh, so it has you know quite a few of them. And if it doesn't, like I said, you can always use the default uh, HT or the HTML form uh, from your mailer. So I'll get out of here. Because I already got that. Go back to my page here. As you can see, it disappeared the HTML mailer because I chose to integrate something else. Uh, but I already got get response done. So you click there, select a form. I'll just put something in here that doesn't matter. Uh, you can choose all the different fields that you have, uh, which right now on this page you only have email, you don't have name, age, city, birthday, any of that stuff. But you can have your form set up to do any of the things that any of the information that you want to collect uh, just skip this one for now I don't need to know that uh, you can actually have uh, your GTPR settings uh, in here and show to only EU visitors or show to all visitors I've got that off on this for now uh, and then you can have it just you know pop up a notification you can have it show a pop overlay to something like an image or a coupon when they enter their uh, thing or just re redirect to a, a URL um, so you can put a uh, choose this you know put uh, I've got my web address in there so it would re after they filled out the form it would redirect to here uh, pop overlay it would act for a trigger which I don't have one set on this yet so because uh, I'm not using that but then here you click next step and it'll show all the stuff uh, you know that where it's supposed to go the submit form where it's going to um, uh, and then the redirect URL and then what information you're collecting and whether you've got the uh, GTP GDPR on or not uh, and so that's pretty much it and uh, once you do that when uh, somebody comes here and they, in, and they enter their email uh, and for here you'd have to do it if you had it in two different spots you'd have to do it in two spots or you could just go ahead and uh, like I said, click here, you could copy that. And now, you know, if you, you copy that and everything that you did in there would be ready for this one and you could drag it to a different part of uh, your page like this. And then now I've made it, you know, different. So 
Uh, but anyway, it would be in there too, uh, so that you wouldn't have to redo it over and over again if you're doing it on, you know, more than one on uh, the same page, which, you know, most people don't do that anyway. But uh, in case you wanted to, uh, that's how you do it. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, message me or uh, comment below. Thanks.